can uh, tune into the streaming link at www.mixed.com forward slash leg pressing. It's my personal channel. We're going to start here in about 10 minutes' time. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back. We're going to do a quick uh, rundown of the field at this point as we wait for the other drivers to arrive. Uh, we have racing for Team Red Bull. We have Sharky 808 and Woozy Emu 316044. Right now, right now we have uh, we have DT Cook 1989 in the Williams. Page 33388 in the Haas. We have RSF1 Urzumaki in the Ferrari. Darwin Oreos in the Toro Rosso. We have uh, we have, have Aztec ATL in the Racing Point. AND GMR in the uh, Mercedes. We have uh, Maverick showing up to the grid in the uh, Renault. And that is our field as of this point in time as we wait for the rest of the field to arrive. We'll be starting in here in about seven minutes of time. I've already got you guys in one. Yeah, I already got you guys in. Hey, what's going on? All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have about five minutes to uh, about five minutes into race time. 
we wait for the rest of our film to arrive. Oh, it's good, it's good. The Force Ferrari is very, very good. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of late arrivals to the field. We have Stringy Arrow 884 in the uh, Alfa Romero. Um, insane, uh, insane Sparty has showed up to the field as well. He's going to be racing in the uh, second Alfa Romeo. That's going to be a... So it's probably a good thing that I messaged you. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have just over two minutes to go until we start the 18-minute uh, qualifying session for Race Spec F1 Esports uh, Xbox One Console North American Division league race here at Silverstone. Silverstone's going to present a lot of challenges for uh, today's racers, especially getting through Maggots and Beckets, one of the most dangerous sections of the track.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are a mere 15 seconds away from the start of this qualifying session. If you're interested in possibly joining, possibly joining this league, check out our YouTube page at uh, Race Spec F1 Esports. Talk to the uh, league admins. We'll get you squared away. We're always looking for new racers. Okay, I'm slightly curious as to why the uh, stream, when I hit spectate, the why the uh, stream has been strangely enough trying to put me into a vehicle. So uh, if you give me one second, I'm going to go ahead and uh, retire, uh, retire out of this session. I apologize for that, folks. I'm usually a little better than that. First one to uh, come out for uh, looks like it's going to be A and D Gamer is going to or A and D GMR is going to be the uh, first one out to, to uh, start his out lap. And we're also seeing uh, DT uh, DT Cook getting ready to start his out lap. We have DT Cook and uh, AMD Gamer on their outlines. And uh, Stringy, uh, Stringy Arrow has started his outlap as well. Okay, we also now have Darwin Oreos and uh, Woozy Emu on their outlaps as well. Uh, Flurry Page starting his outlap. Sharky 808 on his outlap as well. We now have uh, Maverick out on his outlap. Still waiting on Aztec ATL and Insane Smarty to start their outlaps. We're going to go ahead and jump on board with uh, RSF1 Maki as he. Uh, comes around toward the uh, last, road, last uh, half of the track here to uh, get started on the top. Sector 3, and getting ready now to uh, start his qualifying run. Looking at a nice smooth move, nice smooth movement through the beginning of Sector 1. He's really flying, he's really just flying through there. He's absolutely flying through there. Coming back to uh, Flurry Page. Sharky 808. 
DT Cook, 1989. And uh, Andy Gamer looking at looking very soon. Oh, and Andy Gamer is coming off track here slightly at the uh, back half of uh, second two. Not sure quite what happened there. Uh, Darwin, uh, Darwin Oreo starting his uh, transition into sector three. Uh, a little bit slow. We're not quite sure what's going on there with him yet. Uh, we see Ima coming through, uh, coming through the back uh, back portion of sector three. Uh, DT Cook posting a time of 129.659. Three uh, arrow posting an impressive 128.882. Emu coming in now at a 132.537. Oh, RSF Rizabaki posting a 127.442 on the soft tires. Page coming into the pits, not quite sure what's going on there. We'll uh, try to keep you apprised of that situation. Oh, Mavericks just posted a 128.109, moving him into second on the qualifying grid. After uh, after the impressive display at France, we're looking for Maverick to possibly make another run against RSF for Zamaki for, uh, for this week, see if he can't put two wins under his belt against this champion driver. RSF Rizabaki is now posted a 127.442, bettering his time holding on to that pole position. Hey, uh, Darwin Oreo is posted a 129.671. DT Cook with a 129.659. Looks like we may see some competition on the grid from them in, uh, in P4 and P5, respectively. Sharky808 now posting a 131.074. Woozy Emo with a 132.537. We're not seeing a lot of se a lot of separation uh, between uh, between second and third, fourth uh, fourth and fifth. A little bit more separation between sixth and seventh. But looking so far, like we're going to have a very very competitive field out there today. Uh, Stringy Arrow now posting a 128.882, bettering his time slightly. Uh, Maverick with a 128.109. Still waiting on, uh, still waiting on qualifying time from Corey Page, A and D G M R, uh, Aztec A T L, and Insane Sparty. Yeah, that's why I retired from the session.
All right, taking a look at these lap times very quickly, folks. In uh, pole position, we have R RSF1 Maki with a 127.442. Maverick holding on to P2 with a 128.109. AMD Gamer in P3 with a 128.331. Stringy, uh, Stringy Arrow now dropping down to fifth with a 128.882. And St. Sparty taking over P4 with a 128.862. DT Cook with a 129.659. Darwin Oreos with a 129.671, Sharky 808 with a 131.074, and Woozy Emu with a 132.537. Now still waiting on time for the Glory page and Aztec ATL. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have just over eight minutes to go in qualifying. Your field, uh, your field is looking like RSF, RSF Urzumaki and uh, Maverick starting on the front row. AND GMR, AND GMR, and Insane Sparty starting row two. Starting row three, we have Stringy Arrow and Flory Page. Starting, uh, starting row four, we have DT Cook, 1989, and Darwin Oreos. Starting, uh, starting row five, we have Sharky 808, Woozy Emu. Uh, the only person yet to post a lap time is going to be Aztec ATL. Riding on board with Maverick, still holding on to that 128.109 qualifying time. Moving back to uh, moving back to Stringy Arrow now with a 128.239. AND GMR with a 128.331. Insane Sparty with a 128.862. Flurry Page with a 1, uh, 129.288. DT Cook with a 129.242. Stringy Arrow with a 129.647. Cook with a 129.647. Darwin Oreos with a 129.671. Sharky 808 with a 131.074. Starting another outlap trying to improve that time. Uzi Emu with a 132.537. Also on another qualifi qualification run.
Three minutes to go to go in qualifying. Uh, we have RSF Uzumaki in uh, pole. We have Maverick in P2, Stringy Arrow P3, AND GMR P4, Insane Sparty holding on to P5, Flurry Page in P6, DT Cook P7, Darwin Oreos P8. P9, we have, Shar we have Sharky 808 followed by Woozy Emu in P10. And rounding out, rounding out the pack, we have Aztec ATO who has yet to post a lap time in P11. And it appears that AMD GMR has now retired from session. Seconds to go in qualifying. We see the RSF has improved his time from 126.834. Maverick to the 127.471. Stringy Arrow with a 127.932. We may see some battling between the two of them today. Uh, DT Cook with a 128.509. Insane Sparty with a 128.862. Flurry Page with a 128.867. Darren. Darwin Orioles with a 129.671, Sharky 808 with a 130.418, and Woozy Emu with a 132.537. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your race field. been assigned a five place grid penalty for a collision with uh, Flurry Page. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, your, ray, your race field for the uh, 2020 uh, British Grand Prix. We'll be continuing in just a couple moments' time. Uh, and your, uh, your field as it stands is RSF Urzumaki in uh, pole position, uh, Maverick in P2, 
is starting in the second row. We have Stringy Arrow and uh, AND GMR. Starting in row three, we have DT Cook and Insane Sparty. Starting row four, Flurry Page, Darwin Oreos. Starting row five, Sharky uh, 808, Woozy Emu. And starting in row six, we have Aztec ATL. We'll be back in just a few moments' time with your formation lap and the start of the 2020 British Grand Prix. just put us in kind of a pickle. So I don't know how, I have no idea how to get out of this, uh, get out of this field. Okay. But still, it's uh, still form, uh, form it's, I'm going to have to run the formation lap and then jump into the pits and retire so I can actually commentate this thing. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, I'm worried. I'm worried about leaving that car on track. Damn it! I'm gonna have to run the formation lap and then just either retire or wreck out. Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize for this momentary uh, technical difficulty. It appears that when I uh, set up the stream, I failed to uh, put myself into uh, spectator mode. So I'm just gonna have to momentarily work around that minor technical difficulty. Ladies and gentlemen, now uh, we're just working around this minor technical difficulty for which you do have my extreme apologies. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are, moments away from the start, and it is lights out, the start of the uh, British Grand Prix.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that I'm uh, back up in the comment booth and not out on the track, we'll go ahead and get some uh, commentary going for this race. We have RSF Urzumaki uh, leading lap one right now. Maverick, uh, Maverick uh, less than a half second behind in P2, followed by followed by Insane Sparty and Andy Gamer in P3 and P4. We have, uh, we have Sharky in P5, DT Pokemon around P6, followed by Darwin Warriors in P7. We have Stringy Arrow in uh, P8, Woozy Emu in uh, P9. We have uh, Aztec ATL holding on to P10, and Flory Page rounding out the pack in P11. Following very closely behind the RSF Maki, looking to, uh, to possibly make a move here in the uh, upcoming lap. I'm not sure what his strategy is. We'll see how that plays out. If the strategy is anything like it was in France, we could be in for a very hotly contested battle today. Seth coming slightly off track there for a moment, not quite sure what happened. Okay, Maverick just hot on and hot on his heels, looking for any advantage he can get up into a position where he can uh, possibly take pole, uh, take pole away. Behind. He's got a uh, DRS zone coming up here that may be just the boost he needs. Maverick posting a uh, 131.449 for the uh, fastest lap of the race. Though. Uh, Darwin Oreos now has another three second time penalty for multiple points. We're going to assume those are the corner penalty. Oh, and Maverick making a very, very aggressive move, and he's going to, oh, he's going to have, oh, oh, very fierce battle going on between Maverick and RSF for the Maki, and it looks like uh, RSF for the Maki has spun out. He's going to drop back down into P3, open the door for him, and Smarty to jump up into P2. Now we're going to have a very fierce battle, it looks like, between the two Smarty and RSF for the Maki for him to get that position back. Oh, and he's looking like a very, very aggressive move. Absolutely hot on his heels. Ladies and gentlemen, this race just got really, really interesting. Oh, and 
RSF coming on the inside, and he's going to take away P2 from Vince Sparty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, talk about a battle we've got going on right now. right now that does look that, like that was a very unintentional uh, unintentional contact on the part of Mag part of, part of Maverick we are hearing a lot of comms back and forth to that that effect so it'll be interesting to see how the remainder of this race plays out. Maverick's always been known to be a very uh, very smooth, very clean driver. It's unfortunate we uh, saw an, uh, saw an incident like that just being in the way in the world of racing you're gonna have situations like that where there is a where there is unintentional contact and that does go very much to the sportsmanship of these two these two drivers to be able to uh, their teams to be able to uh, converse in this manner. Uh, coming back up into Mar Maverick now having that uh, three se just over three second time interval between him and RFF Urzumaki. Okay, coming back, coming back to uh, coming back to uh, P5 and P6. We're seeing a very pitched battle between Sharky 808 and A and D Gamer. Uh, pack of four, uh, pack of four vehicles, including uh, Darwin uh, Darwin Oreo. We've got, uh, we've got Sharky, A&D Gamer, and Darwin Oreos in a pack of uh, three cars together. Looking like they're going to be battling back and forth this afternoon for uh, P5 through P7. Uh, coming back, coming back up to the, uh, coming back up to, coming back up to the front of the pack. We see, uh, we see that uh, RSF Rizumaki has closed the gap now between uh, between him and uh, him and Maverick. And it's uh, it's appearing that because of that incident, Maverick is uh, Maverick is slowing up in uh, slowing up in an effort to uh, possibly get that position back to uh, RSF Rizumaki again in a again in a very brilliant uh, brilliant display. Of uh, Maverick and uh, Maverick and uh, RSF two the uh, foremost uh, foremost drivers in the league and to uh, and to see them to be able to, to act in such a sportsmanlike fashion is a uh, testament to the skill of both of these drivers. Right, and uh, Maverick has given that position back to uh, RSF Wonders and Monkey. We are back under racing conditions from this point forward. It is anyone's race. About a half second, uh, about a half second behind RSF Urzumaki, but it's looking like he may make another. It's looking like he may make another aggressive move here. Oh, coming on the outside, just barely has the door shut on him. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a feeling we're going to see a pitched battle back and forth between these two giants all day. Maverick certainly taking that Renault right to the edge of what it can do. Closing that gap to 2.4, uh, say, I'm sorry, 0 0.24, 0 0.285 seconds. Uh, both of them running on uh, six level with soft, uh, soft tires. We're seeing a pretty good bit of separation to the, uh, from, the rest of the, from the rest of the field. Oh, and Maverick looking to make a very aggressive move on the outside, and he's going to take that pole position away. Ladies and gentlemen, the pucker factor at this track is extremely high today. We've seen a lot of aggressive, a lot of aggressive moves and a lot of back and forth racing. Ladies and gentlemen, this could very well be the best race of the season.
Now on lap eight of this 26 lap affair, ladies and gentlemen, we've seen nothing but solid, solid back and forth today. Coming back down to uh, P6 and P7 uh, with AND GMR and Sharky 808. Not much separation between these two drivers. We may, uh, we may see Sharky mount a challenge here very shortly against AND GMR to. Uh, Try to, take, try to take that position back. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a yellow flag trying to determine where that uh, where that flag is. Looks like uh, Aztec ATL may have uh, come off track. Uh, coming back here with uh, Woozy Emu rounding out the pack in uh, P11. 54 seconds behind the uh, 54 seconds behind the race leader. He's going to be hard pressed to make up some time. Uh, Darwin Orius now receiving a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings. If he's not if he's not careful with his racing, he may be looking at a uh, disqualification here. Uh, Maverick dropping back to eight tenths of a second. Correction, RSF Urzumaki dropping back to eight tenths of a second behind Maverick. Looking at a uh, looking at a possible battle here. Possible battle here between uh, Darwin Orias and the uh, and the uh, GMR six. Uh, oh, no, coming close to the right on the uh, right on the back bumper. Gentlemen, we're getting very close to that uh, first pit stop. These uh, these soft tires are notorious for not lasting very long in the uh, harsh conditions here at Silverstone. Most of these drivers will be looking to make that move from the uh, soft tires onto the mediums or possibly even the hards. And Maverick and Nerzumaki are both coming into the pits at the same time. It's going to be a time battle in the pits between them. Maverick picks up a five-second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. That may very well give RSF uh, Urzumaki the edge that he needs. Uh, Maverick, Maverick manages to hold on to, uh, manage to hold on to that pole position. He's going to need to put at least five seconds of separation in between them to uh, to be able to hold on to uh, pole position. Oh, and Maverick just quick in and out, quick in and out stop, and uh, insane Smarty now in. Uh, now in P1, opting to go to stop and slap on the suit and separation just coming out of the pits. Uh, Maverick has now dropped down into P5, and uh, RSF Urzumaki now in P6. Uh, Maverick and RSF uh, now now racing uh, racing out of the pits. Uh, uh, Flurry Page now picking up a three-second time penalty for a multiple Mornings. We're going to go ahead and go on board here with uh, Insane Sparty, our new race, uh, our new race leader. Uh, TT Cook has picked up a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings. Uh, Darwin Oreos, approximately 7.2 seconds behind our race leader. Uh, DT and DT Cook, less than a second, less than a second behind Darwin Oreos. Uh, we have Sharky back in P4. Uh, Maverick, uh, nine seconds behind him in P5. Maki was two tenths of a second behind, looking at a possible very aggressive move coming from our Maki Maverick. We may see it. We may see another attempt up here very, very shortly. These two just battling, battling for it all day. So Maverick, Maverick catches the grass here momentarily. Not quite sure. Not quite sure what happened there. Both of them now on a uh, fresh set of mediums. Oh, looks like ours at first. Maki's going to make a move to the inside. Maverick's going to close the door on him. Back in, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, right, absolutely right on his bumper. Right on his back bumper. Possibly, uh, possibly, 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 would it be, uh, would it be the slip screen coming off the, uh, coming off the back of Maverick. And Maverick is now jumped in.
Yeah, hot on the heels of Maverick. If you take that, if you take P3, if you take P3 away, we're looking at the potential for Fred. Potential move here in the uh, upcoming turn as Maverick is uh, struggling, struggling to defend against the uh, RSF onslaught. Oh, looks like he's picked up some DRS. Oh, he's going to make the overtake. Make the overtake into P3, leaving Maverick into P4. Maverick winding out to some gear, still not able to hold on to RSF with the Maki off. Oh, and uh, RSF is going to, uh, is going to uh, lap loose and keep it is now a minute behind the pack. Maverick is going to put himself into a position to, uh, take, uh, to take a key three back from RSF with the Maki. Hey, it looks like something has uh, happened to uh, Sharky. Uh, this is the kind of indication of what has happened to Sharky. He was nearly at a dead stop on track. Uh, but Sharky now coming into a position to uh, possibly challenge Maverick for uh, P3. We're going to ride on board with him for just a moment and see how this plays out. to uh, Darwin Oreos, our current race leader with uh, RSF Kuzumaki, uh 6.396 seconds behind him. Maverick less than half a second behind RSF Urzumaki. Uh We're looking at Sharky approximately three seconds behind Maverick. Uh, Insane Sparty now 13 seconds behind Sharky. So it's looking like this battle is going to be between our, between our top four our top four at this point in time. Maverick making a very, very aggressive move. Oh, but he's gonna have the door shut on him. Oh, oh, Maverick coming on the outside. On the outside, he's gonna take away P2. Competition between these two drivers has just been absolutely unreal. The pucker factor extremely high as we watch them fly around these turns here at Silverstone. Maverick definitely taking a ride into the danger zone with each and every move around this track. AMD Gamer now picking up the second time title be for multiple warnings. RSF Urzumaki once again coming up uh, coming up behind Maverick looking to challenge him to get that position back. Oh, whoa, whoa. Pulling the, pulling the air off Maverick's uh, Maverick's first over there for just, uh, just a moment. Oh, and he does have he does have the he does have the DRS. He's gonna make the move. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, he's gonna make the move and go ahead and vault himself back into P2.
lap 15 of this 26 lap affair. Less than 11 laps to go. Uh, both of these drivers seem to be working together in an effort to uh, get into position one to uh, position two uh, challenge Darwin Oreo to the lead. Oh man, Maverick gaining, Maverick gaining, gaining, and he's gonna go. Oh, oh, he's gonna take, oh, back and forth. But for a moment, Maverick had him on the outside. But RSF says no. Maverick has now picked up a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings. Uh, we're going to come back. Uh, we're going to come up here and take a look at uh, Darwin Orios as, I, as uh, RSF closes to less than a tenth of the second. And RSF versus Baki has taken the pole away from Darwin Orios. Darwin Orios and Maverick falling very close behind. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the battle for P1 through P3 getting very very aggressive and Darwin Orios is coming to the pits leaving RSF Urzumaki and Maverick to battle for P for battle for pole position. Uh, Sharky has now picked up a five uh, Sharky has now picked up a five second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. With the uh, with the penalties racked up so far Maverick is going to need to gain at least eight seconds on RSF Urzumaki before the end of the race if he wants to hold on to if he wants to gain and hold on to pole position. Ladies and gentlemen, now on lap 16 of this 26 lap affair, 10 laps to go. Maverick making a very aggressive move to the inside, and he's going to go ahead and take pole. He's going to go ahead and take pole. These uh, guys are battling neck and neck as they come around sector two. Oh, and Maverick shuts the door to take away pole position. Ladies and gentlemen, this could very well be a repeat of France. This could very, very well be a repeat of France. Maverick just running a very calm, cool, and calculated race. Ladies and gentlemen, Formula One racing does not get any better than this. RSF trying to get into position to make a very, uh, to make another very, aggra very aggressive move. Ladies and gentlemen, this has just been a chess match between these two drivers today. Move, counter move. Yo, Grandma racing at its finest. Oh, Sharky now picking up a three second time penalty for corner cutting. Oh, coming back to uh, P7 and P8. Looks like a little bit of a battle coming up between Swingy Arrow and Sharky 808. Uh, ANT Gamer not too far behind them in P8 as the battle for position 6 through 8 continues. And again, coming coming back up to coming back up to the front of the field, RSF very close to pursuing Maverick now left now just over three tenths of a second behind. We have a yellow flag, yellow flag on track and RSF has got the has got the TRS is gonna go inside or outside, he's gonna go to the outside and he's gonna take that position away! Ladies and gentlemen, this is back and forth. Absolutely back to the car. Like a trailer park girl, he's gone round the outside on Maverick to take away pole position. Guess who's back? Back again. Will he's back? Tell your friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Inside and oh oh no the door is oh 
no, he does have it. Ladies and gentlemen, I've said it so many times in this race already, this is an absolutely amazing race craft and sportsmanship being displayed by both of these drivers. Absolutely insane. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you watching this race, don't blink for a second because you'll miss some of the best races we've seen so far on the Xbox One North America series. Oh, and RSF made another DRS move. He may possibly go to the inside, but no, he holds off. Surprisingly, he can hold off here. Looks like he didn't have much of anywhere to go if he would have gone to the outside. He would have first pushing uh, Maverick off track.
Sharky 808 now picking up for the second time penalty for multiple warnings. Dropping back into uh, P2, looks like uh, RSF taking there, running neck and neck down, uh, running neck and neck through these turns, just battling consistently back and forth. Like Maverick prepping to uh, make yet another run. Waiting, waiting, waiting for that, uh, that one opportunity to get back in, back in the front, and come down, come down to uh, just over four laps to go. Oh, Maverick looking to make a very aggressive move to the outside, and no, he's going to hold it, he's going to hold up. No, and he's going to switch back on him, and he's going to go ahead, and he's going to take away Palmer. No, no, yes, yes. Drivers definitely giving my commentating skills a workout. Two drivers definitely giving my commentating skills a workout today. Consistently back and forth. You think, you think one's got it, then the other one's got it, then you think the other one's got it, the other one's got it. Maverick very well gearing. Maverick very well gearing up to take his second win of the season. Again, ladies and gentlemen, penalties could very well be the factor in today's race, and uh, Woozy Emu has uh, went ahead and uh, went ahead and let the uh, race leaders through. Darwin Orio is now picking up a two-second time penalty for multiple warnings. DT Cook also with a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings. Gentlemen, three laps to go. Three laps to go. Oh, Maverick catching the grass here a little bit. DRS making a very aggressive move, and he's going to take away pole position yet again. Have. 
Oh, and we have a uh, yellow flag. One and two. Ladies and gentlemen, one lap to go. It is it's all coming down to this. back to half a second behind All right ladies and gentlemen we're on the final we're on the final lap Fuel now, fuel now looking like it may be a factor. The big question on everyone's minds is uh, with these time penalties factoring in, is Maverick going to have enough distance between him and RSF Urzumaki to be able to make this one? Oh, and RSF Urzumaki is going to come on the inside, and he's, they're going to battle back. They're battling back and forth. Maverick still holding on to Maverick's still holding on to the pole. No, the world championship. You can't. This lap, uh, Maverick holding on to that lead by a very slim margin, less than a tenth of a second. So it's like RSS going to try to make an aggressive move here. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He's got the DRS. He's going to go ahead and slingshot past him on the outside. Go ahead and take the hold. Take him around this last, this last series of turns. Maverick's got to make He's going to make it at any time. It's got to be right now. He's got to get back in this. Oh, and RSF's gonna shut the door and take it away from him. And RSF Urzumaki wins the, the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a very, very hotly contested race all the way through. Your final standings are gonna be the win. The RSF won Urzumaki as the winner. Um, now Mar Maverick in P2, Insane Sparty P3, Darwin Oreos P4. In fifth and sixth, Springy Arrow with DT Cook. In seventh and eighth, Sharky 808, Flurry Page. Uh, nine and ninth and tenth, Anthony Gamer and Aztec HDL. In ninth and tenth, with, uh, with, with, with Lucy Emu rounding out, the, rounding out the pack, a lap behind in P11. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Figure Host, Leg Up Racing for the, uh, 2000, for the 2020 British Grand Prix at Silverstone. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, you want to talk about a hell of a race. <laughs> 